Yeah, looking at a full system replacement, um, old equipment, 80% setup, no flue liner at the moment, so we're going to um, look at dropping one down. Water heater also on play, it's got the three inch flue, so we'll, I'm going to pop out, we'll have a look at the chimney from the outside. Uh, you've got to love the return drop. Big round, 16 to 18 inch um, coming down, just connecting in from the side. So we'll attempt to, to keep that and then we'll just make a transition um, into a new uh, media cabinet. As far as gas is concerned, I am not seeing an isolating valve on that, so we'll just have to make sure we include an isolating valve um, for the new furnace. We'll just shut shut this one off um, back at the meter. Water heater's got one. Furnace does not. That's okay. Electrics are in a conduit, so that's good. And you can see the drain is just over here, um, so we'll just run that in vinyl. Um, as far as the line set's concerned, it's actually sized right. And whereabouts is it, Jordan? That's where we get it. For the, is it out the back here? I think so. Yeah. yeah, and it's just running all the way out. I'm going to pop out and have a look at that. You can see where it's exiting out of the just the top of this window here. But it actually looks like it's size right. It actually looks like it's been recently insulated as well. So in good shape to reuse, um, recharge. Um, and then as far as the access is concerned. Uh, walk out um, which leads out to the back so we can um, get the old equipment out and new equipment in. Yeah, so just on this return job, I just wanted to show this. So it's coming out and it's just a big typical floor um, double joist return. And it's a little ways away from the furnace. It's probably, I don't know, probably a good three feet away. So yeah, I'm, think, I'm thinking we'll reuse this and just make a transition piece. That's it. Cool.